And for Marvin's dear friend, Jackie Lynn Colton. He has left $20,000 and his treasured collection of Pez dispensers. The Pez collection? Oh my God! Which might be worth more than $20,000. Beth, how could you? I would never sell it. That belonged to Marvin. Of course. He gave me this too, guys. Good luck. Ooh! Goodbye. <laughs> now, for the remaining four, Marsha, Sarah, Janine, and Steve, Marvin is bequeathed to you, his dream. An employment agency? What the hell was he thinking? Well, you know how much Marvin loved actors. And his dream was to find them temporary work between acting jobs. I am so excited about this. I get to work every day with these three. Steve is such a nice guy. And I have always admired Sarah and Marcia so much. They are both such wonderful actresses, and smart, and funny, and stylish. I just know that we will all become best friends. I'll do it for the free health care, but I'd better get my own office. Oh, Marvin, I love you, but I was kind of hoping for some of that sin stock, or at least a boatload of cash. <sighs> I guess I can do this till my next acting gig comes along. You know, I just auditioned for a new musical. It's got a great Broadway buzz. I've got a good feeling. Give my regards to old Broadway and say that I'll be there ere long. Thank you, Marvin. I won't let you down, buddy. Well, this is it. As you know, this is the theater where Marvin was a longtime member. And he arranged for you to have a room upstairs that you can use as the office for the business. He comes with the place. So the theater uses this as storage space and we use it as a rehearsal hall. Uh, fortunately, they've been letting me sleep here for a while, but luckily I have a friend who lives nearby who's gonna let me sleep on their couch. It's all yours and I'll be around daily for any light maintenance you might have. It's a shit! Oh. What? what? No, um, we, we can it fix this up. No, 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 it looks like this is awful. It needs work. I told you we can fix it up. Now all we need is our first client. Oh. Will! Hi. Uh, Will? Will? <laughs> Friedman? Oh, Steve. Will Friedman would come on in and grab a seat. What, do, what can we do for you at Kaplan's Corner? What do you mean, what can you do for me? I, I want a job. Well, what are you talking about? You work all the time. No, if you got a series, you work all the time. Weeks go by, I don't work. I want to keep busy. But the kind of jobs we're finding aren't acting jobs. We're way more run of the mill. Well, that's perfect. Real people, a real job. That's what I'm looking for. Of course, my agent thinks I'm nuts. Oh, you mean like what they're doing out there? Bat, I wish I could tap dance. <gasps> but right now, I'd like to do some filing or uh, be a barista in a coffee bar or billing at a doctor's office, you know, anything. You'll be recognized. You'll be sworn by autograph hands. Trust me, I will not be recognized. Nobody will know who I am. I, I, I'll go incognito. But you had that hit series. Yeah, but that was 35 years ago. It doesn't matter if it was 35 years, the Bellman Badass Trilogy. It's out of context. I'll fit right in. Don't worry. Well, something did come up today at the Hawaiian Escape Inn Hotel, but you're, you're way too famous for that. Trust me, nobody will recognize me at that place. Pays four fifty a week. Four fifty a week, that's what I get in unemployment. Perfect, sign me up. Really? Yeah. Okay, uh, this, uh, this could be a good fit. Great.
Much better. Is this the employment agency for actors? Oh, it sure is! <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Janine. What's your name? They call me Andrew. Andrew. My name is Andrew. Oh. Hi, Andrew. Welcome. Come on in. Nice to meet you, doll. I uh, better get back to work. Andrew, are you a millennial? Only on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind helping me with this little thing on my phone? I don't know what happened, but suddenly the text just got gigantic, and I don't know how to get it back to the way it was. Well, you know what they say about gigantic things. <laughs> I'm the least technically minded person that ever lived. Technology really frightens me. My nephew told me to go to this thing here, but then I don't know what to do after that. And he's in Colorado, so he can't explain it to me over the phone. Can you try to fix it here? Oh, oh! oh. Maybe you should fly your nephew out here. Oh my gosh, you fix it! Thank you! You're a genius! <laughs> genius is a strong word. Hmm. Janine, what are you doing? <laughs> Not during office hours. <laughs> Marsha, this is Andrew. He's a millennial and a technical genius. He just fixed my phone. Well, I didn't really? really I need someone to help me set up a Twitter account. <laughs> my publicist insists. What's Twitter? He can do that. I'll need it in an hour. Oh, Andrew, honey, would you mind? I need to get one of those app thingies on this thing that'll let me play music. Thanks, doll. Oh, I want that, too. What's an app? But, Bye. But, but, what? All right, I just booked it. You start at 3 o'clock today. <laughs> Good, I have to break out the Hawaiian wardrobe. <laughs> so, how's it going over here? Sarah, can't you see we're, we're in a meeting? <laughs> oh, I just wanted to see if Will needed a water or something. Oh my gosh, what happened to your beard? I sure love a guy with facial hair. Really? Mm. <laughs> well, I had to shave it off because uh, people were thinking I was homeless. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> you know, if I didn't shave between jobs, I'd look like a gorilla from the waist down. Sarah, TMI, could you actually go get Will of Water? Hey, I have tickets to Catalina Saturday night to hear Jay Monheit. Care to join me? Uh, well, you know, I have Laker tickets. Oh, yeah. I thought we could have a few laughs yeah. and hear some great jazz and kind of see where the night takes us. Sarah, yeah. Will is a married man. Still? Oh, yes. Happily. Oh, well, I guess I just never forgot that crazy chemistry we had in Waterbury, Connecticut. Well, Sarah, you have chemistry with everyone. Uh, you're an actress. That is the nicest thing you have ever said to me. Sarah, we're not running an escort service. Steve, don't be a fuddy-duddy. <laughs> so, what do you say about Saturday? Uh, well, uh, Gilda got us the tickets, and we're real big Laker fans, and uh, she's really looking forward to the game. Wow, you, you are one lucky guy. <laughs> yeah, she sure is. I mean, you sure are. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you get somebody to go with you to this concert, and I thank you very much. Oh, and uh, good luck on all that hair. Uh, thanks, Will. Oh, no, sure, Steve. Thank <laughs> you. It's, it's, yeah, so no, uh, ooh, it's all right. <laughs> So now that you have your document, you document. can export it to a PDF if you want, which is usually how people want it in email. So you go people. up to here, and then you go down to export, and down. you click PDF, and the quality, you usually just want to keep it good. Whoa, 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 slow down. On the outside, I'm millennial, but on the inside, I'm baby boom. There you go, kid. And then you have Click. to choose desktop, or else it won't show up on your desktop. Desktop. Got it? Can we go back to the top? No. That was 45 minutes of my life. What's your phone number? No. It's easy. Oh, it is easy. <laughs> you got this. I got this. Thank you, Steve Jobs. Go forth and spread your knowledge. 
Not into traffic! We made these reservations months ago and we were promised a room with a view. You have a room with a view. View of the alley, but... Um... Overlooking the garbage bins with the aroma of urine wafting in. Uh, so the problem is the view or the stink? I think both. This is unacceptable. The brochure said the Hawaiian Escape Inn, all the ambiance of Hawaii without the airfare. Well, you see our palm tree out front and have you enjoyed our lovely pool? This is California, pal. There are palm trees and pools everywhere. Let's just try to have a good time. I can't have a nice time in this dump. This is our anniversary, 25 years. We were married in Hawaii and we can't afford to go back. And we maxed out our credit cards paying for this nightmare of a hotel for a week. Can we calm down? I will not calm down. I want my Hawaiian honeymoon like we planned. <laughs> oh, lady, stop crying. Stop crying. Look, I got airline miles, vouchers for hotels. I'll arrange for you to be on a plane to go there tomorrow. Really? Yeah, if you just turn off the waterworks. Maui, because that's our favorite. Maui is our favorite. Uh, you're welcome. Don't I know you from somewhere? You don't know me. Some bar, let's go. No, I think he used to be somebody. Yeah, he, nobody's anybody. Oh, my God. So, Andrew, I understand you're some kind of technical wizard. Oh, he's amazing. Amazing. Um, I wouldn't say that. I'd say amateur. Well, we need someone like that in our organization. How would you feel about coming to work here at Kaplan's Corner? Well, I do need me one of them jumps. Em employment is good. It's settled. You're hired. <laughs> but no more pirate impressions. You, you start tomorrow. We open at 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? We're old, Andrew. 5 a.m. is like 10 a.m. to us now. We also have dinner at 3 p.m. after we close. Speak for yourself. I'm from the theater. We don't do mornings. She kind of makes her own hours. Mm. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Welcome aboard, kiddo. Great. Now set me up in an Instagram and a Pinterest account uh, and get me some followers. And hurry. Marvin? Hello? Where are you? M Marvin? It, it's me, Steve. I need to talk to you. It's very important or I wouldn't bother you. Well, what is it, Marvin? I'm listening. Are you here? What is it you want to talk to me about? What makes you think I want to talk to you about something? Huh? Did you hear that? Do you believe in ghosts? Um, I've had some experiences. I just heard someone call my name. He said he had something important to tell me. What was it? Look, don't say anything to the others, especially Marcia. She already thinks I'm crazy. Does he seem a little crazy to you? Oh, for sure. And she's not all there either. That's what I thought. Oh. Ronnie 
Michelle. Hi. Hi. Janine. Janine, yeah. Harris, Lake Tahoe, 1969. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Good to see you again. Ronnie, Ronnie, thanks for coming in. Hey, my pleasure. I'm Steve, we, we, we spoke yeah, on the phone. Of course, I remember you, right. Steve. So nice to see you. Yeah. I'm such a big fan. <laughs> Thank you. I need him. How, how are you? Well, I'm doing fairly well. Yeah. Just now in recovery, so I'm feeling really great. Oh, uh, recovery? And nobody knows this, but uh, I had a lot of drinking problems. AA? Well, I didn't get that far. I joined A. Uh, what is this putrid shrine to Marvin? I, I don't get it. Uh, well, it's it's a, a tribute. You did that? Oh, uh, yeah. This is a tribute to Marvin? Yeah. I, I don't want to say anything, but I think this is a little bit too much. I loved Marvin, and everybody loved Marvin. Ronnie! Huh? Oh, my God! Marsha! Oh, why are you kidding? Uh, it's been five years since I've seen it. We did a show together. We did a yeah. show together. <laughs> Palm Springs. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so senior class. Senior class. Yeah. Four yeah. years. And we went to Broadway. We did. Yeah. All Broadway. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave it all to your children. Neither. That's right. That was the name of it. <laughs> and we didn't. <laughs> hey, you look great. Well, oh, thanks. And now, how about you, huh? Well, I'm still above the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think we have found the perfect job for you. No <laughs> kidding. Yeah, yeah. Should <laughs> I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Well, honey, listen, is it possible for you to get me a replacement for... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I got it. I know, I know. Hang on, hang on, okay? okay I'll take sure. care of it. Uh, Steve, listen, would you file these? I just don't want to get behind on that stuff, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, oh, listen, huh. Don Wells is going to be joining us. That's great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Keep in constant touch, Steve. <laughs> you too, sweetie. Right, right over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello? Marvin? Marvin Kaplan, it's, it's me. Steve! Steve Marvin Kaplan. You have something important to, to tell me. I'm here. What is it? I need to talk to you. It's very important. I am available at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock? What was that? Did you hear that? It, it, it was Marvin's voice. Tell me you heard Marvin's voice. I heard something. I can't say I heard Marvin's voice. Are you sure you didn't hear Ronnie Shell yelling over there? No, it was Marvin. He said he had something important to tell me at 2 o'clock. Please tell me you heard Marvin's voice. Sorry, I didn't hear Marvin. Get some rest. I wonder if that job at the Hawaiian Escape Hotel is still available. What about that flight to Australia? <laughs> It was one of the most exciting flights I've ever been on. Mm -hmm. And when he landed, you could hardly wait to tell his wife that he had Marianne from Gilligan's Island. And who are you again? Uh, uh, Duke Slater. From? From, 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 uh, from Gomer Pyle. Five seasons, CBS. Never watched it. Anyway, the pilot loved us. He let us sit in the cockpit. <laughs> oh. He sat between us. Oh. Not during the flight, of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> but after we sat around a while, had a couple of drinks, he <gasps> took a selfie. <laughs> He uh, touched my thigh at one point and asked me if I wanted to do anything, and I said, okay, I'll drive. <laughs> but then he kissed me. Okay, guys, so back to the job. Okay. All right, you're going to show up at Dodger Stadium, and oh. you're going to check in with Miss Borgia. So uh, here is your gate pass and oh, your yes. parking stickers. Thank you. And you'll be selling footlong weenies in the stands. Do well, and the job is yours for the whole season. <laughs> it sounds like so much fun. Yeah, you say that now. Wait till you lug these weenies around all day. Talk about a hernia. <laughs> oh, posh. How fun. And I'm so looking forward to interacting with the baseball fans, too. <laughs> you kidding? All they're interested in is getting their weenie in your bun. <laughs> you are gross. By the way, I've been carrying a foot-long weenie for years. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> oh, Want to see? My mother would be ashamed. Your mother's nothing but a goddamn prude. Maybe he meant 2 o'clock a.m. Well, that's got to be it. That's why we haven't heard anything. I find that spiritual things like this happen when you least expect it. Maybe because you're waiting around for it, it's not happening. Maybe you should just go about your normal life, and if it's going to happen, it'll happen. I don't get a job there as a page. Tell me you heard that. Marvin! Look! Goosebumps! 
Get a job as a page? Okay. Oh, this is so wonderful. You know, one night I woke up in the middle of the night and I looked and there was my cat, Cinnamon, sitting on the bed, clear as day. And she had passed away three okay, months Okay, honey, the cat is dead, all right? Rainbow I, Bridge, time for a new cat. I Get yourself her. another pussy. Hey, Andrew. Thanks for fixing that reel-to-reel -reel player. It's working great. You know what? I googled it. You have to put the two prongs into the wall. It works great. Oh, High five, Marsha. Go home. Love you more. Uh, make sure you turn that coffee pot off before you leave, okay? I'm Marvin oh, okay. Kaplan, yeah. still. What's that? <laughs> Sounds like Marvin's voice. You know, oh, I, that. Andrew fixed a reel-to-reel -reel player, so I've been listening to some old tapes of Marvin. This is something Sarah Ballantyne did about a bunch of old-time character actors, including Marvin. It's really good. Do me a favor. Don't tell anybody else, okay? Ah, okay. Hey, anything left in that bottle there? In your dreams, hobo. I don't know where we're going. It's a surprise. They just said to dress in formal attire. Uh, the last thing I want to do is spend my birthday evening with those losers that I stay with all day at work. <laughs> Although, I think we may be going to Helen's. I have been dying to go there. It's a six weeks wait to get in. How do you know that's where we're going? Oh, I may have mentioned it a few times this week that that's where I'd like to go. Uh, and you know, they hang on my every word. <laughs> they idolize me. But I'm sure the two blondes are jealous of my success. I was a Broadway star. <laughs> the two of them don't stand a chance in hell of ever getting near there. Mm-hmm. You know it's true. Oh, if you say so, dear. I say so. God, I have nothing to wear. The Mystic Palace is the hottest magic club in town. It, it's very tough to get into. Yeah, well, I always thought the Magic Castle was the hot place for magic. No, no, this is much better. I never heard of it. Well, that's the point. You have to be in the know. Hey, are we are we sure Marcia even likes magic? Well, she used to date that magician. Really? I didn't know that. She was his assistant. Oh, wow. He must have saw right through her. Uh, <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that act. He must have made her tear her hair out. Okay. All right, just stop. Hey, I do magic. Oh, sure you do, huh? All you have to do is keep up with that little pea. There's no pea under these shells. There's one under here. You got the idea? All right, who wants to help me? How about this lady right here? No. Uh, okay. How about you, oh, Missy? Sure. Help me? Oh, good. <laughs> I get a lot of complaints, especially from the ladies. They say you started too fast or I wasn't ready. <laughs> I don't want to hear that crap out of you. Oh. You know where the pea is, <laughs> and you know where it's not ready to go? Yeah. Get me out of here. This yeah. is torture. J j just try to stick it out a little bit longer. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, come on, would you loosen up? This is fun. Blind and speed, I am lost myself. <laughs> that's a loser. Oh! Oh, oh remember, that's a loser, too. Oh! There it is, right How there. How did you there. do that? There it is, oh right there. Awesome. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much, Will. Do it again, you won't fool me twice. Oh, I'll get you again. <laughs> Everybody like another drink? Yes, please. <laughs> you, sir. Yes, sir. I want you to think of a card in your mind. Six of hearts. Six of hearts? Oh, my Whoa. goodness. Whoa. I would have bet at any amount of money what? that you oh, would have thought of the six of hearts. <laughs>
Impossible. Right. Just shoot me now. <laughs> you are welcome. I knew you were going to love this. <laughs> hey, let's have another round. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? What's up? Over there. I think I see Marsha's ex. You're kidding. Where? Coming right towards us. Fasten your seatbelt. Hey, birthday girl. This is for you. Wow! Ow! Could this night get any worse? Hey, Marsha. It's been a while. Security! Feisty. You miss me, babe? Uh, I miss all my money that you made disappear. Don't come near me! Who? You can feel the chemistry. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey, buddy, m move along. The, the lady's with me. Hey, old timer. She wasn't such a lady when I was with her. Hey, oh. hey come on, guy. We're just trying to have a nice evening. Oh, oh. boo hoo. Hey, Marsha, baby. Who are all these chumps you're hanging with? Well, I'm Andrew, and this is Sarah, and that. Who are you calling a chump? Chump. Oh, pardon moi. That it hurt your little feelings? Would you just get out of here, you phony sack of shit? Absolutely. We'll go together. Oh. 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 Nice shot! Oh. Best birthday present ever. Oh. Now, that was a good magic yeah. trick. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you look just like Will Friedman. Everybody <laughs> says that. Uh, uh, Ricardo. Ricardo. Mm. Ricardo. Hi, Will. Yeah. Hi, Will. Hi. So, how are you liking the new job? Uh, I don't know. I'll give it another day or two. We'll see. Sure looking handsome in that uniform. Well, thanks, Sarah. Shall we tip you? Well, you can if you want. I'm donating all the tips to uh, Dimes for Mimes. <laughs> Give the man some money and let's get out of here. Oh. Um, um. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Thank you. You're Sarah. welcome. <laughs> bye, Will. Bye. bye. See you soon. See ya. Yeah, bye, bye bye. Okay. Ricardo, huh? You like him. <laughs> I would have sworn that was Will Friedman. Have you been drinking too much? Oh. All right. Impossible. That was really good, Jay. Nice work. Show some Thank more. You. All right, sure. Oh, no, no, no. Excited. My friend Jennifer's coming in today. Oh, yeah? What's so exciting? She is my favorite actress in the entire world. My role model. Better than Meryl Streep, even. Jennifer Tilly? Jennifer Rhodes. Never heard of her. The movie Heathers? The TV show Charmed? A million guest star roles? I'm not following. Well, you better catch up. <gasps> Jennifer! Jennifer, you made it! You're here! Mrs. Lynch from Friends. You didn't tell me to wear my workout clothes. There must be 50 steps out there. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Andrew, get Jennifer some water. Oh, it's lucky I'm in such fine shape. Oh, you are. You, you are in excellent shape. <sighs> Jennifer Rhodes. Marsha Rod. World's worst actress. I've always hated this bitch. I'm sorry. I don't think we have anything that fits your skill set. Or lack of it. Well, I just stopped by on a lark. 
I've had so many offers for roles that I just can't keep up. <laughs> I didn't know there were so many offers for over-the-hill bimbos. I know just what you mean. I just turned down an offer for a new Broadway show. <laughs> Been there, done that. She's done just about everyone in Hollywood she thinks might give her a job. I think they have a history. You think? I heard there was a man involved. Oh, honey, there's always a man involved. Always? Always. 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 Sometimes. Always. Speaking of theater, um, whatever happened to what's-his-name? Who do you mean by what's-his-name? Uh, you know, that actor that you were dating when we were doing that Lillian Hellman play in that little theater in Beverly Hills. You mean my fiancé at the time, Timothy Allen Edwards, the one I found you screwing in your dressing room during intermission on opening night. Yes! I think that might be his name. I did that. <laughs> what? Whore. Ham. Has been. Never will be. Do, do you think we should do something? Oh, I, I'm not getting anywhere near them. I'm allergic to confrontation. But someone could get hurt. Just don't want it to be me. But Jennifer, she just had a manicure. And you know how crazy Marsha gets. If I never see that witch again, it will be too soon. And I may just. Is she gone? Good. <clears throat> I beat the shit out of her. One fifty six, one fifty seven, one fifty eight. Hello? I will! <laughs> Steve, um, I don't think this is working out either. Sorry, my parents went to Hawaii and didn't even leave me any money. 163, 164, 165, 166, Here, 160. Take the pizza. Take the pizza. Hey, hey. What? Hey. You're Will Friedman. Yeah, my dad's got a bunch of shit with your face on it. T-shirts, DVDs, other things. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could sign all of it? Uh, kid, go get your father's shit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're very famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Help, Steve. Get me out of here. Don't worry, Will. We'll, we'll keep trying. Sorry, ladies, we're a little short-handed this morning. Two of my co-workers got big, important auditions, so they had to take the day off. And I even got a little one myself later on for an ultra-low budget film. But we will get you in to see Steve as soon as possible, and I'm sure we will find the perfect jobs for all of you. Well, I'm not even comfortable working in the entertainment industry these days with all these things things coming out about the men. It's very scary. I know what you mean. Sex maniacs. Pigs. Always trying to cop a feel. Or worse. I know. Of course, it has been a while. Happened to me last week. I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> so, how do you like this? Fine. Fine? Great. Thanks a lot. You're, you're no help. 
Marsha, relax. It's not that important. Not important? Every audition is important. I have to present my best self. Ah, oh, women. I heard that. You know, you men have it easy. What do you know? I mean, you're supposed to be a big-time producer, and you can't even get me an audition for your latest project. We've been through this, Marsha. We need a name. A name? I'm a name. Marsha Rod. I start on Broadway. A long time ago. I heard that, too. Oh, I have nothing to wear. Not only are women preyed on in the entertainment industry, but it happens all over. Yeah, men, they're all the same. Only one thing on their minds. You no, know, the next one that even looks at me funny, it just better watch out. Look at all those politicians. Poor Hillary. She was robbed. Yeah, by the all boys club. You can't trust any of them. So, ladies, who's next? Hey, watch out, mister. I'm carrying mace. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I give the world to be among the folks in D-I-X-I-E. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrew, honey. Thanks for helping me warm up my voice. Warm up? I'm going to have to go bathe in aloe vera gel. You are on fire. You are too nice. Flattery will get you everywhere. Is this an audition for a musical? <laughs> well, no. But but I thought it's good to be prepared for anything. Overachiever, yeah. that means you'll book it every time. Uh, and that jewelry of yours, it's like artisan sourdough scented candle. <laughs> it was a gift from a stalker. <laughs> well, the only gift in this room is that incredible voice of yours. <laughs> you are gonna knock them dead. Thank you, sweetie. I really appreciate your help. Show business is brutal. See, it's, it's Ladies, okay. all right, listen up. We've already got some interesting self-tapes on this role that were submitted, some great choices. So keep that in mind when you come in and really up your game. No headshots, no need for a slate. Just come in, say the line to camera, and leave. No time for chit-chat. Just say the line, he's gone, then exit. All right, the first five are Madeline, Cynthia, Kelly, Francis, and Sandra. When you see the person before you exit, just come right in. Don't waste time. Got it? Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. All right. Good. Madeline, let's go. I'm so nervous. It's okay, Madeline. Wow, look at us, all at the same audition. Mm -hmm. So exciting. You two look beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thank you, honey. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Some line. Two words. My agent said they might expand the role. There are no small parts. Shut up. <laughs> Marsha is so funny. She's always kidding around like that. I can't believe I'm at the same audition as she is and reading for the same role. She's been on Broadway. I guess my career is really taking off. Well, this is not exactly what I was expecting. It's a friggin' cattle call. Uh, there must be at least 30 actresses here, all reading for the same teeny little role. I'll probably give it to one of those dowdy ones sitting over there. Hmm, show business. Oh my God. Is that Jennifer Rhodes over there? They are really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Marae, hey, Marae, hi. Marae, hi. Shh, quiet, just shut the fuck up. I'm trying to prepare her, okay? You got to put your hand down. We were in acting class together. She's a real method actress, very serious. Mm -hmm. Seriously, cuckoo. <laughs> All right, ladies, next five are Barbara, Laura, Karen, Murray, and Marcia. Barbara? I'm gonna fire my agent. And that's when Marvin and I became friends. I ruined his walker, so I had to buy him a new one. <laughs> <laughs> what an enchanting story. <laughs> Steve, um, are you married? I'm what? just wondering. Oh, okay. uh, yes, I, I am. Uh, figures. The good ones are always taken. Oh, holy Toledo, look at the time. Well, ladies, it's been a really fun afternoon. The day just flew by. I, I do have to close up shop now, but remember, Seema, you start tomorrow evening as a cocktail server at Gotcha, the new comedy club in Santa Monica. Clara and Deanne, you report to Dingo Donuts on Vermont uh, Monday at 6 a.m. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. Bye. Good. It's so good, Jess. <laughs> 
What a hot piece of ass. Say. <laughs> Kaplan's Corner. Oh, hey, buddy, what's up? That marijuana dispensary you set me up in, it wasn't licensed, and they just busted it. Time's up. Get me out of this, Steve. We'll take care of it. Don't, don't worry about it. What else could go wrong? Oh, hi, you the manager? That's right. You've been served. What? Oh, man, I should have brought my headshot. We're being sued by Jennifer Rhodes for five million dollars. Jiminy fucking crickets. Officer, don't you recognize me? I, I, I'm an actor. Never seen you before. You said, well, my friends say I'm a very famous actor. Sure, uh, sure. Hey, wait a minute. What? Bellman Badass. Ah, uh, bingo. Oh my god, I uh, love that trilogy. That's why I became a cop. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> you want a pick? Oh, no. Oh, Anything god. you want, Thank officer. You. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's good enough, yeah? Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's oh, great. Thank you. Listen, uh, you want to take these cuffs off? No. You let me go. Okay? You were selling drugs, Bellman. I can't oh. just let you go. It's not Bellman Badass Trilogy. Jesus. Oh. oh my god, I love that scene when you come out of that limo just guns blazing and you're like, Give me the tip, shit, Ed! Uh, oh, love good it. Good reading. Thank you. Uh, not even the right fucking line. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Poof! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone. He's gone. He's gone! He's gone. <sighs> yeah, he gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. 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 Oh. He's gone. 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 He's gone.